What's up guys, main man sweet here. Yeah, that's my intro. Hoping you're all doing awesome as always. Uh, I'm gonna play some Dragonov Ranked. Uh, Dragonov is a ton of fun in this game, and he's actually the only character I'm like, I don't even want to do a customization. Because I like his OG drip here. I think he's one of the best redesigns, if not the best one. Like, don't get me wrong, everyone has a huge glow up in this game. But with Kazi, I mean, I did change some of the colors. Uh, I changed some of Devil Jin, but here I'm just like, <laughs> I just want this to stay the way it is. It's so good. So I'm gonna play some Dragonov. Dragonov is super fun in this game. He's been buffed a ton. Uh, if you watched my 8 minute guide on him, in Tekken 7, he's, he's in a very insulting place, in my opinion. Uh, in Tekken 7, he's very weak, but he's also hard to play. And you, he's very honest, actually, in Tekken 7. He's a very straightforward approach, where everyone kind of knows what you're doing, and you're even super weak, and you have kind of broken... Oh, right, we have practice mode here. These are my practice settings. This caught me a little bit off guard. We want you to stand up. Opponent's heat. No heat limit. He has very poor hitboxes. This has transitioned or in terms that his mids <laughs> hit very high. There's no such thing as a standardized mid hitbox in Tekken. All the moves have completely unique hitboxes. So you have mids that hit very low, that catch uh, Xiaoyu in her stances. And then you have uh, mids like this, where it's almost like a high, where anything that has high evasion will go under this mid. It's really weird how it works. So he had very broken hitboxes, he had the weakest wall combo in Tekken 7. Certainly makes up for it in this game, where he suddenly has... Oh, that fucked me up. Um, he's got the best wall combo suddenly. <laughs> so, like, the developers certainly listened to criticism, right? They were like, no, let's fix this guy. Uh, and I'm sure you know uh, he has some really brutal pressure in this game. So this is going to be another coaching series. I'm going to talk a little bit about how you can play Dragonov before I start my ranked matches here. And also, a lot of people are telling me they kind of hate Dragonov in this game because they fight him all the time. He's very popular now, as he should be. He's really cool. Uh, I'm so happy for him in Tekken 8. But a lot of people are very annoyed with these links. It's basically any type of sneak cancel into sneak 4 and people are really annoyed. People are annoyed at while running too. So I can just, I'm just gonna tell you quickly that if you're playing against Dragonov and you're about at this uh, distance away from him, he's going to try and do his classic approach on you. And it's basically gonna be while running too. 99% of Dragonovs when we're standing here, we're like, oh, while running too! And if you anticipate he's going to do this, you can sidewalk left. It pretty much always beats while running too. You can even just, if you time it properly, you can do a tiny sidestep like this. And it will beat while running too. I promise. But, you know, be safe. Do a sidewalk left. And then, if he's close to you, and he's mindlessly bombarding you with sneak into sneak 4, which seems to be, again, 99% of Dragonov players, you can even eat, not even on block, you can eat a while stunning one, you can eat back for two into sneak, and you still have time to step him right. Even on hit, he, he, you don't have to respect this. You don't have to. You can just, in between where you can step right, and then you launch him. So you can't let Dragonov players mindlessly get away with stuff like that. Uh, of course, they can mix you up here if he thinks you're going to step. It seems like a lot of Dragonovs are resorting to Korsoko forward to from Sneak, right? And now this is a mid launcher uh, that tracks decently to both sides. So you will get hit, but Dragonov still pays the price in that if he opts for that option, he's minus 14, right? There is a mind game here, but so if you're really infuriated with Dragonov, try to apply those sidesteps. I'm just going to tell you straight away that a lot of you, yeah you, you, you play 2D fighter against Dragonov, you're playing Street Fighter. You're just holding back and like, oh god, I'm blocking, my god, the pressure, the pressure, ah! It's like, if you don't sidestep Dragonov, the character is overpowered. He is, he's legit OP, OP if you don't sidestep. You have to sidestep this stuff. If you don't, yeah, he's, he has the best frames in the game. 
You're supposed to step this guy. So again, far away, step left. Close, step right. Do remember these things, because that's also a built-in weakness. He doesn't have the best homing. He, often he relies on this low to keep you tr tracked down, or, or to track your spacing, right? So please keep that in mind. And practicing throw breaks is important because he has a strong throw game. But so in, in terms of, of playing Dragonov, uh, do practice your while running too. Will you shut up, like, you know, Sneak 4 is really good and it's a heat engager. But this is your, you know, main pressure tool. It does gigantic damage. Gigantic damage on counter hit. And it doesn't use heat. We can save our heat resource and then go for the crucial heat burst whenever we want to. And the heat stuff is strong. Um, so yeah, pressure with while running too. Get them close to the wall. And we love the wall because we struggle a little bit with reach on our throws and blizzard hammer. And we really like these options, right? And when we have them at the wall, we have great wall travel. When I have you at the wall, you can't ba ba um, backdash these options. You're just pinned down. I can effortlessly mix everything. Because you want to stress your opponent's defenses. If you're not using his throws, you're doing it wrong. This shit, a 1 break, a 2 break, a 1 plus 2 break, it stresses the shit out of your opponent. After a while, even the people who have strong throw breaks, they get so stressed by that pressure that they start ducking, and then you benefit. You benefit greatly. So please don't forget about that. And also, the mental stack you have with Dragonov, out outside of pressuring like this, which you will do, it's very strong, I thought of that, you have su such a strong mental stack that a lot of Dragonovs don't uh, utilize. Me with mental stack, I mean, you, you have a very varied move set, uh, toolkit. Extremely varied to toolkit. With so many different options, you can throw your opponent's way. A lot of quite powerful strings that I, I think you should utilize. And just test them. Well, has he seen this string? Does he know how, how this string works? If he doesn't, he gets blown up for free. Uh, so do remember that. And you have incredible combos. Uh, anytime you can get someone to the wall without using your bound, it's, it's a huge win for you. Because then you'll apply the best wall combo in the game. Wall throw into full wall combo. It's pretty OP. It's pretty OP. So again, don't bound unless you really have to. I mean, look at this shit. No counter hit. That's Kazuya perfect electric damage. No counter hit even. So if you don't have to, don't use the bound. Put them on the wall because your character is some of the best wall carry. With sneak cancels, right? Some of the best wall carry. Um, and also ma make sure it hurts uh, any launch you get. Like, if you feel, oh, I can't utilize a wall, uh, you, st you still have crazy damage. Absolutely crazy damage. Let's see. Player direction. Who? Huh? Switch position. Let's see. This, okay, it's a little bit tricky, but in my opinion, practice this combo. Uh, oh, and a lot of you underestimate this attack. That's your electric. That's your electric. It's a high, but fast, and has a ton of reach. Recovers quickly on whiff. Quickly. Uh, minus three on block. Launches, right, on normal hit. If this is blocked, you're free to do whatever you want. And remember that Dragonov has superior movement. If you do this, this minus three into a sidestep, you beat pretty much everything they do outside of homing. Very often you set this up like this, step, down for two. To launch their retaliation. You have very strong movement uh, with Dragonov. Um, now I'm... Ugh. 
I would just like to show you the best staple at least once here. Can I still land it? No. I'm still practicing this, by the way. Oh, You can dash in here and get uh, sneak four. It's insanely strong. Okay. I had this connect like very reliably yesterday. Oh my fucking god! Thanks! Thanks, Tekken 8! I, I don't know what this is. Maybe it's because I hit the record button and I'm like, let's give those good folks at, on YouTube some content. And then I, I can't do a staple combo. Watch me do this first attempt when I play my matches. That! You have to learn to staple that because it's almost half-life. And again, it's without counter hit. It's without counter hit. Um... Oh, and if you step anyone, which which you can do quite uh, easily with this guy, considering you have super strong movement, one free two is guaranteed at the back. And here you're gonna, if I do this today, you're gonna see me do some crazy stuff. I I can literally kill someone if if they make a mistake in the Oki situation there. I can straight up kill them. Uh, but so, I hope this serves as a quick introduction to Dragonov. And when you 50-50, down 2 is, is your go-to option. Down 2, into the full crouch down for 1-4, right? You, you've already seen this a million times. It's very strong. So down 2, while standing 1. Down 2, full crouch down for 1-4. Very strong. Italia. Okay. But I hope that serves as a little bit of an introduction to Dragonov. I'm sorry I dropped the combo 90 million times, but shit happens. Uh, but so now let's play some Dragonov, and I'll try and give you some insights as to when I play, how I, how I look at things. But again, I'm in, I'm in green ranks. My Kazuya is at uh, Garyu, but that still means we're in green ranks. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna see, but how does he respond to these strings? My ma my strings. Oh, he keeps his guard up. Down two. Again, I'm not gonna overcomplicate things. I'm just string spamming right now. That's all I'm doing. And it works. So, Dragonov has a shit ton of strings. Shit ton of strings. Use them. Chances are your opponent doesn't have... Oh, nice duck. Nice duck bow. So now he's, he's actually thinking about what I'm doing. He's like, can I duck that? So we sneak instead. You can cancel... Cancel variant to sneak. I'm not gonna do anything fancy with my heat. I'm just gonna keep doing my shenanigans. Just Tekken 8, very basic sneak cancelling. I think that was good, a good answer by him. He used Heat Burst to try and get away from my pressure, but I'm just, I'm just mashing. So we just mash, we mash some sneak, sneak stuff. Uh, and I'm, I'm just gonna go back to doing my strings. Is he gonna duck? He sidesteps into a double electric. This guy's pretty good. This guy's pretty good, but he's still getting obliterated by sim very simple string spam. He has throw breaks. That was a one break. Okay. Yeah, this guy has some fundamentals. Yeah, he has some fundamentals. But now you see, even someone of this caliber can get overwhelmed by simple string spamming. Just that that's a really good duck he did there. Mm. 
very decent steps. See how he handles this? This he can step to the to the right. Okay. It has to be said here that he played better than I did this match. He actually applied defense. I just pressed buttons. He played better than me in terms of fundamental basic core Tekken. But I still beat the shit out of him because he needs more matchup knowledge on Dragonov. That's Tekken, like, if you don't know a matchup, you will lose to someone who's way worse than you. That happens more in Tekken than any other fighting game. And it's because Tekken characters are so different from one another, and have huge move lists. Huge move lists. Heat burst back. Nice one. Uh, waist reds. Thanks, man. I mean, this guy is electric. This guy had a decent rank, I think, in Tekken 7. How is Jin in this game? Very strong. Very strong. So we're gonna again, we're gonna do strings. Back for two, back for two. Nice sidestep, sir. You see how he's, he's doing step right? After that, he has to step. But he doesn't understand that he has to step here. And I don't blame him. It's not super intuitive. But hopefully you understood from my short presentation there at the start that you have to step there. E even, even if you hit my initiation string, if you, if, even if you get hit by my sneak initiation, you can step that. And that certainly means that on block here you can step it. So this guy, now I'm OP. If he's not stepping this, I'm straight up OP. And I win. This is a 3D fighter. In certain matchups, if you do not apply movement, the character is five times stronger than they should be. Five times stronger than they should be. And in other matchups, you don't have to. If you play against Brian, don't really step. But if you're playing against Dragonob, you have to step. So, it's it's an interesting way of how the game is balanced and how different the characters are from one another. But so, again, if you're at this distance, you want to sidewalk left. Because I'm going to initiate with while running 2. And if I'm standing right next to you, you want to step right. So again, it's a little bit of fake pressure what these dragon ups are doing. What I just did to that guy. Even if this while standing one hits, you can sidewalk right, my sneak four. Even if it hits. Even if this hits. Right? Even if I hit you with this, you can sidewalk. Um, so please, uh, please do not allow Dragonovs to pressure you with this mindless garbage. You know, that's OP if you don't step. Uh, another mental stack option outside of frozen strings up for three four is a very cutesy unbreakable throw but i like a lot uh, a lot of dragonovs also like experimenting with backswing blow uh, he has a very strong backswing blow course circle back two very evasive he goes back a lot and then kablam launches you can set this up with up for three this is a classic setup that goes all the way back to like tekken six whoop and we're gonna try and jab and then you disappear and come back with a backswing blow. You'd be surprised how often that connects. Another classic is I rake into backswing blow. And I dropped it. So I rake, backswing blow. You can find your own setups for this. They're, they're quite uh, fun to, to try. Um... Get 
ready for the next battle. Oh, the mirror match. Okay, so now you're gonna see me apply the anti dragon up to this guy. Oh, is he a beginner? Or no? How much prowess does he have? 28k. Okay, so he's picked up Dragonal. So at this range, we step left, right? He did a homing move. He's playing special style. Okay, uh, this is not gonna be much of a fight, I think. Did he teabag me? What? Did you fucking teabag moi? What is this disrespect? Putting shame on all Dragonov mains. Oh, that Oki. Yeah, sorry. I thought I thought I was gonna be able to demonstrate uh, anti Dragonov tech, but yeah, this match is gonna be a joke. Okay. Heat smash. Is he gonna do tackle? You think? No. This guy, if I go up to him and just blizzard hammer, I swear to god he won't have a clue what to do. Or I guess I just jab check. Ah, oh, he knew to do down two. Good one, good one sir. Okay, let's try that again. Down two? Down forward two? Was, did he mix me up there? That was not bad. I, I don't know if it's an accident or if he's actually doing that on purpose. Heat smash. Oh, there's the rage shards. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's so hard to gauge his level of play. Did he fluke those down for twos or did he place a down for two there on purpose? Like, I, I just don't know. It's hard to tell. You want to see the best uh, scrub killer string this guy has? You're welcome. You're welcome. If someone doesn't know how to play Tekken, that string obliterates them. So keep that in mind. If you're struggling against spammers, back 4 to 1 can give you multiple ranks. Multiple ranks. Sha la 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 this is new. And th this is really strong. This is very, very strong. So keep that in mind. And, and be on the lookout for that counter. -it. That wall grab is really OP. Yeah, but I, I kind of like it. It feels like justice to me. For the longest time, he had the weakest wall combo. Legit, the weakest wall combo. And now he has the best one. And I'm just like, fucking A. Fucking A. Dragonov players deserve it, to be honest. Like, those of you complaining about Dragonov, I don't, I don't want to hear it. Most of you probably played fucking Leroy in Tekken 7, so... I don't want to hear it. Dragonov... Players deserve to shine a little bit. This is not bad Oki, by the way. I might start doing this. Wall. And then, blap, blap, sneak four. That will hit grounded. That will hit grounded. Oh, 
Oh wow, that is some brutal shit. Oh, Le Francais? It's on console? Let's go. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> oh god! He is popular. Okay, so maybe now I can show you guys. Is this Jin? No, oh, wait! Is that Jin? This isn't Dragonov, this is Jin. So if he while running twos, I will step left. As, as you can see, right? Now he applies homing, so he's not stupid. Not stupid. We pressure a little bit. See how he reacts to my strength, right? Oh, he, he gobbles them up, right? <laughs> Oh, and now I eat the lazy pressure. I love it. Okay. Round two. Fight. I have to try and play a little bit now. This guy's a legacy player, I think. Oh, back one too there. Lizard hammer at the wall again. He can't get away. And it's suddenly enormously powerful. Enormously powerful. He doesn't duck back for 2-1. That's super bad that he doesn't do that. Ah, I, I stepped uh, with poor timing. Can we get the staple? I told you I was gonna do it, first attempt. Pro. While running two. Down two. Down two. Uh, you have to be able to crouch cancel down two. Down two, tap up to quick stand, and then down two again. Very strong. How this guy got 17 streak? Dude, he's, he's a strong player. He's a strong player. You think he's bad just because I body him? Just because I body someone doesn't mean they're bad, right? Tackle? He rage! <laughs> <laughs> That's a good option, actually. Well, I mean, maybe not that good. Yeah, maybe not so good. If I don't do anything there, he dies. Oh, wow. Good one. Good one. I respect that. Bro. Dead. If you're in rage, 10% damage amplification. So your fro does like 44 damage. Four extra damage. Doesn't sound like a lot, but you can tell. You see that float chart? He's at the wall, so I'm just gonna threaten Blizzard Hammer. A power crush to get out of it. Power crush again. String. String, string, string. Remember, mental stack. Mental stack. Don't use the same move over and over. While running two. You see? Tiny step. It whiffs.
Power Crush? Huge counter hit, and you see? While running too. Even on trade, I have time to run in. Even on trade, I have time to run in. So, master of a point blank while running too. The blue spark, if you're interested in Dragon Home. Thanks for the bits, uh, Verba Tim. Thank you. Oh, DD, that was you. <laughs> well played, though. Well played. Well played. Guy don't want to play more than two times. In Tekken 8, you 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 play. Oh, this guy's gonna be good. You play a best of three. You can't you can't do infinite rematches. I have a lighting on this stage. So this guy is probably gonna be good. Brian players tend to be very strong, stronger than their rank. Never mind. That was a snake edge. Typically, you don't want to see a Brian do a snake edge after green ranks. After green ranks, it just it becomes useless. That's minus 13, full crouch. Gonna do some lazy sneak pressure. That just happened. Fascinating. He's gonna orb it all, I think. Orbital. Heat smash. I'm fascinated. A Dominator is using Snake Edge for 50-50. You can't do that. Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. My bad. So... He's gonna... Uh, you need to be afraid of the orbital, so we're gonna wait for him to just snake edge. We just wait for that. Take our wall combo. Blizzard hammer. He's gonna eat it, I think. Yes. Blizzard hammer. I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm, I can only blame myself here. I can only blame myself here. I'm just... Uh, I haven't seen this in 10 years, I think. A Brian playing like this. And I'm not joking. Okay. With this level of play, I think this is going to be strong. Yeah, I, I don't know if that was a misinput or if he just felt the moment and just key charged. I don't know. So again, as you see, I can gauge his level of play and I'm like, yeah. Yep. The way you beat that string is that you duck the last hit. Yeah, I, I don't blame him. But to be honest, when, when you play Brian like that, and you have that rank, I'm not surprised you don't take a rematch. I'm not surprised. So you, you, you just can't play Brian like that. He's, there are characters where you can actually legit use Snake Edge, like Xiaoyu, Zafina. They're so rare that people don't know their Snake Edge animation, animation which makes them super strong and potent. Brian is one of the most popular characters. E even in green ranks, people block his snake edge. Even in green ranks, because people are so accustomed to the animation. And it's a 30 frame move, which is very reactable to absolutely everyone. You know, uh, so you just don't use... Uh, Brian's 50-50 is mixing a mid with hatchet. You never use snake edge, ever, ever. Like, that's step one to playing Brian. Never do Snake Edge. La lazy Sneak Pressure. It works. It actually works a ton. 
It actually works uh, a lot. <laughs> Hello, Yoshi. Ah! The Flash! The Flash! Oh god, what did he do? How much health did he regain? You see? Th this character... It doesn't matter how many frames Dragonov has, and Dragonov has a lot of frames. Yoshi, even if you're plus eight, he can flash and kill you. So Yo Yoshi is completely unique in that it was a very fascinating thing going on with Yoshi in that he punishes you for pressing. He flashes, right? You have no advantage. I'll flash you at any moment. He punishes you for pressing, but he also punishes you for blocking at all times. Because he has the fastest unblockables in the game. You can't block and you can't attack. And this is why Yoshi, even outside of his clown moveset, is a circus freak show. Every match, even in pro play, it's a circus anytime you see Yoshi. Because the character is designed so that you can't defend and you can't attack. And it's, it's very interesting and completely unique to Yoshi. I can't say I like Yoshi, but I, I appreciate the core gameplay design. And I'm done. Okay, so, and he's also stressful to fight because they just do bunga flowcharts. And if you don't know the flowcharts, you lose. And it, it can be really stressful to go up against. He so easily steals matches, Yoshi. And again, I just, I can't take my frames, it just in case he starts doing his flash. Was that a legit throw break or is he just mashing? Yoshi is not OP, but he is, he is at the top of a list of the characters where if you don't know the matchup, you, you just fucking lose immediately. And boy, oh boy, do people not know the matchup. And I don't blame them. It's a tough matchup to learn, and Yoshi is not that popular. No, th this guy's a legacy player. This guy's a legacy player. Flash? This is a legacy player. He has throw breaks. I don't know the matchup to her heart. Is that I, I can to I can totally see Yoshi getting more popular because he's so cool looking. I mean I almost want to spend time with Yoshi and I hated Yoshi. But he's so cool in this game. Uh Hype Tor, thanks for 45 months, you son of a bitch. Yeah, you see? It's, it's, it's like, it completely counters Dragonov. Because your game plan is momentum, but you can't take your momentum against this character. Doesn't matter how plus you are, he just flashes. So, yeah, in terms of annoying matchups when you play Dragonov, like, here you go. Here you go. And he breaks, one, one breaks, one throws. Oh, this is Atsim! Oh, wait, he's like a Tekken God Yoshi player. He's sniping. He's sniping. No wonder. Hey, Robo, thanks for the Prime, dude. Thank you.
Hey, well played, Hudson. Get ready for the next battle. Ah, verbatim, thanks for a bit too. Thanks. Who is Yoshi bad matchup? It's not Dragunov's best matchup in that the entire point of your character is taking gigantic frames and applying pressure on your opponent. Like this. You're like, you know, you're a momentum monster. Once you take momentum, you don't let go. Yoshi doesn't give a shit how plus you are. He, he presses 1 plus 4 and kaboom, you take, what, 60 damage. Kaboom! 60 damage. That's, uh, it's very, very awkward. Get ready for the Flash is no longer a launcher. No, it's not, but it does a million damage into Heat Engager. Yeah. So now we are playing against a Lee. Yota, this is another snipe. I'm very popular, it seems. What's your take on Jin's change to his Zen cancel in this game, and how much does it affect him as a new Jin main who's constantly heard how worse off Jin is without? So we're gonna do some sneak. Here we go. Nimble, thanks for the donation, I really appreciate it. Fight. Oh, that's the, again, hardest string to, hardest mid-height uh, string to duck. Now I'm doing very basic Tekken 7 combos there. That, that's a 14 frame startup mid-high, and it's very hard to duck. Yeah, but you can say the same about Dragonov's back for free. It's very tough to duck. Nice. Down free into infinity kicks. Okay. Okay. Four, two, one into a hop kick. Is this Chris Crane? This is one Bunga Lee, holy shit. He first. Boop, boop. <laughs> Oops. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it and I can't duck it. He's gonna hop kick, I guess. Or 4 2 1. Where's the hop kick? 4 2 1. Thank you. Sir. That, no wall explosion? Huh? That was weird. Hey, well played, Yota. So this guy is playing enormously unsafe. You missed the wall. The, were you looking at the match? He hit the wall and I did 3-1-2 on the wall and it didn't explode. Light win Tekken, best Tekken ever, easily. Thanks for 67 months. Hop kick. So, this is a flowchart player. 4 to 1 into hop kick seems to be his favorite. There we go. So this is again, every match I play, I don't anticipate... I don't anticipate you to play the way the character is meant to be played. This is not how you optimally play Lee, obviously. So, every match you have to be very aware, what is my opponent doing? This is your number one quality as a Tekken player. What is my opponent doing? And then I just see how he likes to do things, and I know, before he even presses the button, I know exactly what he is going to do. So I'm really ready for the response. So 4 to one I'm ready. You see? 
This is this is match awareness. This is going to be your number one quality if you want to learn this game. Not autopiloting. Again, be reactive. What is my opponent presenting to me and how do I deal with it? How do I deal with it? Thanks for playing, Yota. Thanks for playing. Get ready for the next battle. What is Dragonov's weak side? Uh, I just explained it at the start. If you're if you're standing far away from him, you want to step left. If you're standing in his face, you step right. Shaheen. This is the first time I play against Shaheen in Tekken 8, I think. Is this a 10 hit? Will the strings work? They are effective. I actually believe if it is the last hit counter hits, do I get 4? Four? 4 free? No, back. No, I don't get back for free. I get a crouch throw. Maybe I get a crouch throw. Let's see if it counters again. So if a last hit counters there, I think I get a crouch throw for free. And again, crouch throws uh, in Tekken 8 are unbreakable compared to prior Tekken games. Unbreakable. And considering Dragonov's uh, crouch throws are heat engagers, this is very much in our favor, right? So again, he's not ducking the last hit, which means we're gonna win piss easy. Piss easy. Uh, last hit, the high, is plus one on block. And this is why this string is so tricky for beginners. Because the last hit on block builds momentum. So if you don't duck it, I have an 11 frame startup throw. Typically throws are 12 frame startup. And I'm plus one. So to him, it's almost jab speed. I'm, I'm throwing him. Okay, he did not want to play again. And I don't blame him. And that's rough. But about, this is also why I always tell you guys, even if you're a beginner, like... Try, don't autopilot during the match. Can I crouch here? Can I crouch? Can I sidestep? Can I jab interrupt? It's it's better trying something different than doing the same shit over and over that doesn't seem to be working, right? Or you go to replay feature, which is great, and it will the replay feature will tell you when you're blocking this, it will tell you, you can duck that last hit. Yeah, built into the game. Amazing advice, you can duck the last hit. Or you can use replay feature to go back to that match, hit the button to be able to control your character again during the replay, and you can just try, can I duck here? Can I jab? Can I step? You know, it's, it's really good. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, a Paul player? God, I see him so seldom. Most popular character, oh, Legacy Paul, love ya. Uh, most popular character in Tekken 7 and pretty much every other Tekken game, but in Tekken 8 he's fallen off now. I think it's the manager haircut. I, be I believe it's the manager haircut has hurt his popularity. So let's see how he deals with his string. Am I gonna get more free ranks? I'm blocking, he has momentum, I do my string. He jab interrupts, that's good. Ah, it's highly effective. Back 4 to 1 abuser. <laughs> Did you know, Rabbi Yukan, that sometimes the best thing you can do for your opponent is to do something like this? Because let me tell ya, this is, this is a learning lesson in Tekken. 
This is the most basic lesson you can get in Tekken. My opponent is doing the same move over and over, and I'm losing. And you just understand that... There's a, there's a lesson here you have to learn before you g continue forward your journey, you know, in becoming a strong Tekken player. So sometimes this is the best lesson you can give someone. It's very eye-opening. I just lost to someone doing the string over- uh, one string over and over. Oh my god, he rematches. And of course it's a pole player. Th this is the true fighting spirit. He rematched that. This is a guy who did not shy away from the lesson! He ducked it! This is what I like to see, and now he tried a power crush. This is what I like seeing. Now he's not ducking though. You just ducked it, my friend. Do it again. Yeah, he's trying to learn. This, this is what a Chad looks like in fighting games. I got fucking obliterated by a string, I don't give a shit. What can I do? I just... Okay. He ducked it. Now, now he's taking... Now he knows I can interrupt if he does back four again. So now I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do a jab. And now, now it's trickier suddenly, right? Jab, and then I do the string. Jab. So now he needs a different response. Now he ducks. Well done! You see, he's evolving a little bit. Jab. Nice. So now we're gonna be evil and do this. Okay. Now he's back to jab interrupting. Jab. Mid. Well done, nice patience. Yeah, it's rough, it's rough. Smartest Paul player, don't shit on him, you know he's new, he's new. And especially don't shit on a guy who eats one string for three rounds and then rematches. You have no right to shit on someone who does that, because you would not have done that. So. Uh, but okay, we're doing pretty well. Was this a Deutschland player? Get ready for the next battle. Oh, Jack. Uh, strongest character in the game. Strongest character in the game. Oh, the drip! The goddamn drip! Just my beginner combo. No! Oh! <laughs> he used a rage out for Oki! This guy's a fucking god! This is probably Anakin's dad, Banakin. He 10 0 me while he was drunk. Bagu. Nice duck! Nice duck! I believe he's gonna duck the string. He seems to be of that level. There you go! That's the response. Those of you who are asking, how do I beat that string? But do know that you also have the option, as I've showed you, to do back for two into sneak. So if we know he's going to try and duck that, I'll just apply sneak pressure, right? So back four is a strong string. Blizzard. 
Okay, jab check. Oh, no, no. Nice step down for two. Well done. Nice wall running. This guy's good. Nice low parry. I'm dead. No, he fucked up. He fucked up. Man, he fucked up. He had me. He had me. If he had just low parried and rage arted immediately, which is super easy to do, I would have died. So, when he sees, he's so used to Dragonov's slow charting down 2 into the new low, full crouch down for 1, but I think he's just gonna low parry there every time. So we're gonna throw him off by doing while stunning 1 there. Blizzard hammer, and he's dead. Again at the wall, Blizzard Hammer is your best friend. Your best friend. Huge counter hit. It's gonna be another busted combo. <laughs> I was hoping he was gonna move there. All of those hits are very close to the ground. His entire rush there with the heat smash. So if they try and move, they get fucked. I think this is it for Banakin, to be honest. Yeah, well played, Bo. I'm gonna hit Vanquisher, and then I'm gonna pause Dragon Up. So we're gonna aim for Vanquisher today. What is the optimal wall combo after the wall throw? Uh, well, down 3 to 1 plus 2 is max damage, but I like doing 3-1 uh, shoulder. I think that's one damage less, but down three, two, one plus two. It's a lot of Wi Fi's. I believe that to be max. Jesus, boys. Wi Fi City. Like, I do accept a couple of Wi-Fi's once in a while, but it's, it's such a pain when you get that 5-bar Wi-Fi and it stutters, and it's, it's just torture. Here we go. Does not want to play, I guess. No, wants to play. Oh, wait, waited for confirmation on my stream, Get I think. For the next battle. Probably a sniper. Round one. Oh, and June is OP. So, one slip up here and I'm going to die. And she has projectiles. This character is complete horse shit. Or dog, uh, not dog shit. Bullshit. BS. Complete BS. And we got way, way more obnoxious strings than Mr. Dragon up. No, you do not. We throw up. Uh, 
Ja. We throw. Down two. We pressure. Heat burst back. Nice. So he's not doing the basic anti-dragon up now, which is stepping that. So he struggles with the dragon up matchup like most people do. He's making the same like basic fundamental mistakes. As you can see, one slip up from me and everything just really, really hurts. She has super busted damage. Gonna try an orbital? Ay, 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 ay. He's he's stressed, miss input. Stressed playing on stream maybe. <clears throat> Super close to Vanquisher. Is this gonna be the promo? Here we go. Round one. Fight. You see how hard of a time he has with the string? Not to shit on waifu players, but they're often so carried by the bunga of their character that they have very weak defense because they spend most of the matches pressing buttons and doing strings. So they never really accumulate matchup knowledge. So very often, like even Vanquisher here, like this string is hyper effective. Yeah, if as a wife for main, you can be offended to hear that, but it's just the reality, you know. It's just And again, that's a projectile that kills you. That's a projectile. Like one slip up and you, you just die. He just presses one button and he gets a fucking full screen meteorite. But again, I just go in his face and I do... Yeah, just bare minimum and I win. Okay, uh, here we... Okay, here we have a flow charts. That turned him into a vanquisher. Here we go. And it's very effective. It's actually really effective. There we go. So that's vanquisher and hopefully some advice on how to play Dragonov and maybe in general how to play ranked. So I, I hope you enjoyed that. Good shit.